got ourselves in for it. Day nine. Day Welcome. nine. <laughs> Day nine. Day Welcome. nine. Day nine. <laughs> Welcome to Universe Tinkering. I'm John. I'm Jennifer. We are doing a 31 day challenge. It is a change your energy, change your life challenge. And with this challenge, we're getting up um, actually a couple hours earlier in the morning than we normally do. We're getting ready for the day and uh, we're doing something outside of our normal. And it's not something big. It's just something simple. Um, we've done things like watch Star Wars and play a game of cards. We've done uh, things like make snowflakes yesterday. So a lot of fun, simple stuff, but just to kind of change the energy up a little bit. Yeah, and we, um, we invented this 31 day change your energy, change your life challenge because we were inspired by a Dr. Joe Dispenza. Um, we found him just playing around on YouTube looking for meditations. We both started to meditate pretty regularly about a couple of weeks ago and he became uh, a quick favorite of ours. You know, he approaches um, the conversation of the law of attraction very much through um, science and through understanding how the brain works. And it's interesting how the brain works, especially in the morning time, because we kind of just kick into a program. And that program is pretty much anything that we've been doing in the past. And whether that's, you know, the, your regular worries, um, or just, you kind of just go into already thinking about work and what you need to do, so to-do lists. You know, we very rarely kind of break out of that mental habit. Um, and with kind of listening to him and going through the meditations, we did break out of the, the mental habit pretty well. You know, that's something that takes time and regular work to make sure they don't jump back into those, those negative mindsets. Um, but since we were doing pretty good mentally, we thought we'd try out something physically. Um, that we would get up and just do something different. Um, Dr. Joe talks about getting familiar and being in the unknown and how our brain kind of always wants us to go back to the known. And so these activities that we're doing, sometimes they're familiar, sometimes they're not, but we're definitely not used to doing them like super early in the morning. We're not used to making them a priority, you know, like cutting out snowflakes before your day starts. Like, you know, not most adults, I wouldn't say, would wake up early to do that for no reason whatsoever. We're not decorating for a party. We're not, you know, having some weird crafting competition with family. Like there's there's no one, you know, asking us to make snowflakes in the morning. But I think that's, that's where the fun of it comes in and that's where it's changing up our rhythms and it's changing up our energy. And we've already seen, you know, a lot of positive aspects in our life that have changed be because of this new um, unknown thing that we're doing every morning for 31 days. So do you have any observations for, for today, love? Yeah, I've actually noticed that since we've been doing this activity every morning, we've been getting up that couple hours earlier, that our house just kind of seems to just be a little tidier all the time. And you know, it's just little things like we're young parents and the kitchen sink usually has tons of dishes in it and that's just, there's three meals a day, everyone's at home, you know, that's just the way it goes. And I feel like our countertops and our sinks have been empty of dishes for, um, you know, the last few days. So that's great. And I don't feel like we're putting any, you know, too much extra energy in that. And we took the time the other day to um, even shampoo the carpets in the hallway. So, um, you know, we're taking, taking some time to do some extra things, but it doesn't feel too crazy and I'm not like obsessing over like, oh, these are the things that we have to do to keep our house clean. It's just kind of happening naturally and it's nice. Yeah, and it's, um, it's not stuff that we're doing like in the morning time. You know, it's, it's, yeah, it's, throughout the it's day. stuff that we're doing throughout the day and it feels like super easy and 
you know, um, you also like came up with some creative like new storage ideas. Um, so like we're coming up with like easier, quicker things to like keep our house organized and clean, but we're not actually trying to. It's just kind of like throughout our day, like walking around, it's just happening, which is feels really, really nice. How about you? So for my morning observations of, you know, how has this been changing our life? You know, we're trying to keep track of, you know, what is happening to us so we can share it out. And I think for me right now, um, I've actually started to notice that I'm reacting to pain differently. So I think I've mentioned earlier on in um, a couple of the previous days that I do have some pretty regular pain that is kind of, from what I can tell, just residual from two older surgeries that I've had a couple years ago. Uh, muscle pain, stomach pain, it's hard for me to tell whether it's muscle or digestion. I get headaches um, and, you know, as much as I don't want to talk about it and I wanted to sort of let it float away, you know, it is still happening, so sharing that out, you know, I still have pain pretty regularly. But the, the big difference is I've definitely noticed the pain be less since we've been doing this challenge. But the biggest thing is I've noticed that I've been able to, at times, maintain a better mood while I'm in the pain. And that's all I really, really, really wanted was to be able to um, stay happy, stay uh, light about it, maybe even laugh about it. Um, when I'm telling other people like, hey, just so you know, I'm in pain in case you notice anything you know, different or a mood, um, but actually I haven't had to you know, worry about my mood changing or me getting grumpy because I'm in physical pain. I just sort of go, oh, that's happening again, oh, <laughs> and just sort of smile through it and um, do the best I can and kind of change how I'm distracted or smile and laugh. And, you know, it feels a lot better. It feels better to have a lightness and a happy mood while in pain. It's easier than have like a grumpy, sad, you know, kind of um, hopelessness almost feeling when you're having like reoccurring pain. And I know I'm not the only one that has that. I, I don't perceive the world as, you know, walking around perfectly not in pain and I'm the only one sitting here that has aches and pains. I do uh, know that other people have pain, but sometimes when you're in pain, that's all you can think about. You know, it's hard to focus, it's hard to join in on the fun, it's hard to be smiley and lighthearted when you have this just sort of persistent thing reminding you that you're not 100%. And so despite that, throughout the, the last week during this challenge, I've been able to actually genuinely smile and genuinely be silly and sort of just not focus on the pain as much. And what a big gift that is. So during my healing and as I continue to kind of go to doctors and, um, you know, try things out and feel my way through the healing process, I'm at least knowing that I'm enjoying my own moment to the fullest capacity and I'm present here with my family and my loved ones and I feel like I can be me while in pain. So that's a really, really cool thing to say out loud. That's a really cool thing to feel. And that has come from doing this. That's really cool. Yeah, it's really, really cool. So I'll keep you guys updated with maybe some pain management, where that's at. You know, I'd, what are we trying to change in our life? What are we trying to manifest? I think for me, being, um, I know that I'm healthy, but being pain free would be wonderful. <laughs> be pretty darn wonderful so if if just being happier during pain I'll take it I will take it so cheers to that cheers today is day nine and we're gonna do something pampering pampering related yeah we're gonna put on some face masks and uh, some cold face masks and enjoy the uh, relaxation. We and get just from to them. be specific, like facial 
beauty type face masks, not um, the kind to protect your face or Halloween type things, you know, yes. some relaxing, moisturizing, health, skin benefit, facial masks. Facial masks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a fun idea. Maybe we should put some Halloween masks on. Over we, our facials. Over our, oh, it's on a different day. Maybe we should just dress up for Halloween. We'll write that down in our activity list for uh, maybe another day. <laughs> I get the pink one, you get the brown one. That makes sense, right? It might be a little juicy just so you don't. Oh, is it like flicking on me? <laughs> Ooh, it smells good. So face masks done, all cleaned up, skin feels great, skin feels moisturized, you know, it was kind of a fun activity because, um, you know, again, it's about like what kind of energy do you want to get from the activity that you're choosing, and we chose a, an activity that kind of gives back to ourselves, you know, we had a little bit of a quiet time, we could close our eyes and just kind of sit back and relax while the face mask was on and doing its job. So, you know, those are kind of the vibes that we're going to have throughout the whole day is kind of some self-care, taking it a little bit slower, taking time for ourselves. And again, that's exactly the type of energy that we want more of, that we want to bring into our lives. Mm -hmm. So if you would like some of that energy too, please hit the subscribe button. You know, um, this is a challenge that we're doing and we're just sharing our story. But if it's something that you want to pick up and give it a go yourself, let us know in the comments how it's going. We want to be involved. Uh, we want to meet new people and expand um, our universe tinkering family. So please subscribe. Um, again, we're in day nine, we're going to day 31, and thereafter, who knows, the, the infinite possibilities the universe can bring to us. So it'll be fun to watch as we continue. Um, if you do like this video, it would be awesome if you took the time to hit the, the thumbs up that does let YouTube know it's worth sharing out to other people. It will help us grow. And the notification bell will also let you know um, and help you get excited when we upload new videos. So thank you so much for watching us on our journey. We hope that it inspires yours, and we'll see you on the next day. Bye. Bye.